Hi, and welcome to Mr. Edwards' GCSE PE Revision Sessions. These videos give you the option to pause, freeze, and rewind the lessons at your own pace. Within this video, we'll look at the classifications of the bone and the structure of the skeletal system. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify the four classifications of bone and the structure of the skeletal system, the four major classifications of the bones in the human skeleton, and you should be able to apply your knowledge of the classification of bones and the structure of the skeletal system to a range of tasks. The four classifications of bone. Key term, classification of bone, the bone classification, tells you a lot about its structure. A bone classification will also link closely to its major functions. There are four types of bone classification. Long bones, short bones, flat bones, and irregular bones. Irregular bones are unusually shaped bones for a unique purpose. For example, the vertebrae within the spine. These also provide protection and a large surface to which muscles can attach. Long bones, bones that are longer than they are wide. For example, your femur. These play a key part in the leverage movement. Short bones, bones that are box-like in shape. For example, your tarsals within your fingers and your toes. These are designed to be weight-bearing. Flat bones. Thin bones that act like a shell, for example the cranium. They provide protection and large surface to which muscles can attach. Long bones. These are bones that are longer than they are wide. They play a key part in leverage and movement. Long bones you need to know. The humerus, the radius, the ulna, the tibia, the fibula, the metatarsals, the flanges, and the femur. Short bones. These are bones that are box-like in shape. These are designed to be weight-bearing. Short bones you need to know. Carpals, tarsals, flat bones. These are thin bones that act like a shell. They provide protection and a large surface to which muscles can attach. Flat bones you need to know. Cranium, clavicle, sternum, ribs, and pelvis. Irregular bones. These are unusually shaped bones for a unique purpose. These are also provide protection and a large surface to which muscles can attach. Irregular bones you need to know. The vertebral common column, the patella, the spine, breakdown of vertebrae. The spine is made up of 33 vertebrae. These 33 vertebrae are split into five sections. Five sections of the spine you need to know. The cervical, or the top seven vertebrae, the atlas, the axis, so the top two vertebrae, the thoracic, these are the largest section of the vertebrae, these are the 12 just below the cervical, the lumbar, this is often where people have lower back pain, and the sacrum. Finally, the four fused together vertebrae, at the bottom of your spine are called the coccyx. Within the next lesson, we'll be looking at the following exam questions. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you should have been able to answer the following questions. Name the four classifications of the bones in the human skeleton. Describe long bones. Describe short bones. Describe flat bones. Describe irregular bones. And give three examples of bones in the human skeleton that are classified as long bones. Give three examples of bones in the human skeleton that are classified as short bones and give three examples of bones in the human skeleton that are classified as flat bones. Finally, you should be able to name three sections of the spine. Thank you for listening to Mr. Edwards' GCSE PE revision videos. If you have any questions, feel free to email me on damianedwards at kingselbarsha.com. Cheers. Bye.